everyone! Welcome to another Steam at Home with Miss Erin. And today I'm going to show you how to make salt crystal hearts with construction paper and salt water. You might have heard about making crystals with other things like pipe cleaners and borax, but this is really simple, really fun to do with all ages. Even our preschool friends can join in on this. So to get started, I take some construction paper and I'm just going to freeform cut out some hearts here. You might want to trace yours. You might want to use some different colors, make some different sizes. You don't even have to make hearts, of course. I'm just making hearts because of Valentine's Day this month. I'm just going to make three here. And mine are just very free form and basic. And then I'm going to put them on my tray. You are going to need some kind of tray for this. You could use a plate. I'm using my giant cookie sheet. Anything that has some kind of rim on it will work. Then you need some water. You need warm water. I just got mine from the tap. I didn't boil it, just straight from the tap warm. And you need salt. Now I have a cup of water here, eight ounces. I found in about eight ounces, I need about four tablespoons of salt here to make a saturated solution. That means the water cannot hold any more salt in it. So we're gonna add some salt and just regular table salt works for this. You do not need to buy some fancy salt. I'm gonna go ahead and, you wanna stir after every tablespoon. You will know if it's oversaturated, if it will not dissolve anymore because of course salt will dissolve in water. Add a tablespoon two, stir it all up. This can take a little bit of time, depending on how warm your water is, of course. And it's tablespoon three. You want to put as much salt in here as it will hold. Like I said, you want to make a saturated solution. It will work if it's not completely saturated, but it won't be as pretty if it's not super saturated. All right, I'm going to put three in because when I did this with two, I managed to get six tablespoons in for two cups of water and I can already see there's a little bit of salt on the bottom which means that it cannot be it cannot dissolve anymore. So then I have my three hearts on my tray and all I'm gonna do and you might have to hold them down you're just gonna lightly cover them with the water. You do not need a ton of this to cover. So my tray is probably a little too big here but it cleans up messes really well. And then you just have to put them aside and let them dry. That's kind of the boring part. I recommend doing this overnight, letting them dry, let them get very saturated, and then you can pull them to the dryer spots on here or put them on another plate and let them dry overnight. So these are ones that I did already. You can see they're very sparkly. These, this one had a lot of really big crystal pieces on it, but it got fall, it fell and it broke. So these were ones that I just, I, I soaked them just like this and then I pulled them off to let them dry. And I got this, you can actually tell the pattern here, the salt that matches my uh, cookie sheet here. So they're pretty easy, fun. Like I said, it's fun for all ages to do because there's no soap or anything else required. And I hope you have a lot of fun making some crystal hearts. See you next week.